Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. Before his indictment as Trump's co-conspirator, Walt Nata was known as the Diet Coke valet. This photo and his destructive loyalty, however, lends a sordid twist to the more functional label as Trump's body man. This photo was taken by Doug Mills for the New York Times. In it, we see Walt Nata, Donald Trump's personal aide, helping him with his shirt during a golf tournament at Trump National Golf Club in Sterling, Virginia, on May 25, 2023. Born in Guam, Nata rose from a U.S. Navy cook to a culinary specialist at the White House into Trump's personal attendant. Because of his steadfast loyalty, he now stands accused of conspiring with Trump to conceal top-secret records and brazenly lie about it. If convicted, Nata faces a maximum 20-year prison sentence. Here, Mills captures this really intimate relationship between Trump and his body man. But the picture makes very clear the power imbalance in this relationship. And this is a power imbalance that will most certainly affect how this case plays out. There's the height differential, of course. There's also Trump's hypervisibility, his light color clothing, and of course, the ever-present bright red MAGA hat. These both dominate the image. But I'm also interested in the power imbalance that's playing out here with the gazes of each of these people. As always, <laughs> Trump is looking out at the photographer at the camera. He's always looking for the camera. While Nata's only job at this moment is to pay attention to Trump. He has focused his gaze literally on the most minor of details, while Trump is literally looking outward at the big picture of how this all looks, how he looks. Trump is accepting you know, the ministrations of his body man, but Trump does not actually need to engage with him. I'm troubled by the intimacy of the relationship also, particularly from a uh, political standpoint. Not this blind loyalty and subservience makes him virtually invisible in plain sight, as you see in many other photos from the same event, including this more intimate shot by Jonathan Ernst for Reuters. His transparency is also evident in this photo by Jabin Botsford on Air Force One, as you see the servile Nata far left discreetly eyeing Trump. But I've hardly seen anything written this week about the history of power, race, and fealty as it relates to Trump and Nata. Trump's aid is a Pacific Islander, and this image really is part of a long line of racial and class images featuring servants or, in some cases, slaves in the role of pages or attendants in aristocratic British art. For example, consider the parallels in a painting of the Prince of Wales in 1780 or this painting of Charles Stanhope in 1782. Nata was born in Guam, and not much has been made in the media of his minority status. America's had its own colonial relationship with the island, which was acquired in 1898 in the Spanish-American War, and has been essentially a U.S. naval asset and a bulwark against China and North Korea. Nata found a path as a career naval officer in service to the United States, and eventually to Donald Trump personally, there is not much leverage that he has in terms of class, in terms of role, in terms of race. And that plays out in this image as well. For me, the affective dimensions of this photo are what makes it so compelling. This is kind of an unusual image of Trump. His face is at rest. He's not scowling, but he also doesn't seem to be off guard by the camera, nor does he seem to be posing. His eyes are wary, perhaps, of Mills and his camera, but he's not the defiant Trump we've seen most recently in court appearances or at rallies. And then, you know, with that hat slammed down on his head and a kind of hunched over body posture, all of this in the image just sort of makes him seem smaller and maybe even smaller still that he needs to have a hired hand adjust his collar for him. The intimacy in this photo is also really notable in the context of the fact that at Trump's arraignment in Miami, he was warned not to discuss the case with Nata. If Nata is going to remain this close to Trump working for Trump, then that instruction seems highly implausible, given what we know about Trump's inability to avoid attempts at witness tampering and also his mercurial loyalties. 